All right, if you happen to be one of the many people out there who's really jumped on board with yoga and you practice yoga regularly and you love it, that's great news. Keep it up because um, there is some research that is showing us that yoga has a very positive impact when discussing Alzheimer's and um, the progression of Alzheimer's and all these things that come up with people who've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. So keep up your yoga, okay? You're doing a very good thing for yourself. Um, one of the, I'm gonna talk more about just one, one research study that I found because I, I, really, I, I really enjoyed reading it and it just, it made me smile because what they found after doing the study was, um, was really good stuff. And this was a, a research study done by a team of neuroscientists at UCLA and the participants were involved in a three-month course of doing yoga and meditation. And what they found at the end of that was that the participants had very much reduced or minimized cognitive and the emotion and emotional problems that are often associated with preceding Alzheimer's. Okay, so a lot of the a lot of the symptoms, if you may, uh, behaviors and stuff that start to show up before somebody is diagnosed. What they found was that after this three-month course, those participants had a much lower uh, significance of those things. So that's really, really great news. Another result that came out of this was that practicing yoga had a very significant benefit over um, a lot of like the memory problems that people diagnosed with Alzheimer's experienced, more so than doing memory type exercises. Again, the memory, you know, the memory exercises are good. A lot of the things in terms of activities, therapies, things that you can do, whether it's for yourself or for someone in your family, a loved one who has Alzheimer's, it, all of it is good to do. But just talking specifically about yoga, it would seem that yoga had an even greater impact on that over typical things like puzzles and crosswords and stuff like that. So again, you've got to keep up the yoga. <laughs> um, so participants did show um, better memory skills, better memory recall, and a better ability with the visual spatial awareness that a lot of times Alzheimer's uh, patients or people diagnosed with Alzheimer's experience difficulty with. They can have trouble like visually with distances in space. And yoga seemed to really improve that. Um, so again, more good news. Another thing with yoga and meditation, now when you think about yoga and meditation the whole idea is that they help you know it's it's it is supposed to have a calming effect now the very first time I did yoga I was incredibly frustrated because a I wasn't as flexible as I thought I was and I really struggled to perform a lot of the movements in the class and I was just really I felt very challenged and I felt like I wasn't you know I wasn't doing well and I was just very frustrated with myself so I didn't leave that class overly calm <laughs> But after doing several more, my, my mindset's very different. Obviously, um, with the intention to reduce levels of anxiety, to reduce stress, to help create um, an air of calmness about a person, all of those things were definitely present in this study group. And what it did was um, greatly, greatly reduce that anxiety that a lot of times, you know, people that are diagnosed with Alzheimer's can become very anxious when you know when they're they're challenged and finding it difficult to remember things. You know they can't remember things. They're having outbursts. All a lot of a lot of that um, is caused by the anxiety of being confused and not you know not knowing where they are, not knowing where their things are. And yoga really helped to didn't get rid of it, but it helped to bring that down a couple notches to create more um, feeling of calmness for them. So with reduced anxiety were improved coping skills. So they, if they, you know, they weren't getting as anxious, um, that reduced outbursts, you know, those, some of those, sometimes those mood swings and, and the uh, very drastic changes in behavior that can be present with somebody who's been diagnosed. It had a positive impact in, in, lower, in that in lowering their anxiety level, they weren't as prone to these as often. Again, it doesn't mean that it was 100%, it got rid of them, but it definitely had a positive impact in reducing instances like that. Another thing that can be quite common in people diagnosed with, with Alzheimer's, because now remember, just because someone is diagnosed with Alzheimer's doesn't mean that they just all of a sudden forget everything. They, it's a progressive disease, so 
their memory becomes worse or be, you know, more challenged. The recall definitely becomes more difficult. But they also have moments of awareness where they know that that's happening. So they're in, you know, they're, that feeds that anxiety. Now, another thing that can happen is an increased rate of depression among people diagnosed with Alzheimer's. A, first they've been given this diagnosis that can seem pretty bleak. Um, that is, uh, you know, bleak because it's, it, when you think of the course it runs, it's very sad. So um, increased anxiety and an increase in uh, rates of depression because they do have moments and, and days where they know exactly what's happening with them. They know that they're not remembering things that well. They know that they're getting confused and they have that awareness. So it can increase rates of depression among people diagnosed with Alzheimer's. But yoga, again, seemed to have a very positive impact in that it reduced some of the, it took some of the stress away, it took some of that anxiety away, and that by default, um, you know, those people experienced less depression. So lots of, lots of really great reasons to A, keep up with your yoga if you're doing it, and secondly, if you do have a family member, a loved one, a friend, somebody that has been diagnosed, why not take them to a yoga class with you? Um, you know, that getting them out as well, getting them involved in a, in a social environment too is good for them. But um, it doesn't have to be difficult. Like, don't, don't pick a very challenging, you know, high-level yoga class. Just a nice beginner uh, yoga class. Most gyms, rec centers, community centers offer these. And they, they do offer classes specific for seniors. Or, you know, it's, you don't just have to pick a yoga class that's related to your level. You can pick a yoga class based on you know, age, or is it just more for fun, is it for something specific, but hey, if doing yoga has so many positive benefits and impact, why not, right? So there you go. Grab someone you love, that you care about, that's been diagnosed, and take them to yoga with you. I want to thank you for watching this video today, and if you did like it, please share it with friends and family, and as well, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below because I do read those and I will get back to you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, Critical Bench. We've got great video content here, lots of things for health, fitness, wellness, and lots more videos on Alzheimer's that, uh, you know, you probably, if you like this one, you're going to love those ones as well. Again, my name is Tanya. Thank you so much for wa watching this video and I'm wishing you all the health and happiness for a great, great day.